Welcome back to the Drupal Academy. Today we are going to explore an essential topic in a Drupal that is how to add the custom validation handlers to the user login form. The user login form is a core form provided by the Drupal. Because of that we don't have directly access of this user login form fields. Because of that you won't be able to directly access the form fields and if you want to add any custom validations to the username or the password field so in that case we need to add the custom validation handler to the user login form so we can achieve this by using the hook form underscore alter in that hook we will add the custom validation handler to check the user fields for example if you want to allow only users with the some specific email address we can validate those things in a custom validation handler so you can perform the multiple operations like if you want to check the password character length or if you want to add any password criteria you can add those validations in a custom validation handler now i will show you how to add the custom validation handler to the user login form in a Drupal. For that first create the custom module. I have already created the custom module. Hello world. You can watch the video on how to create the custom module in a Drupal. So I have this hello world.info.yaml file and the hello world.module. So inside the dot module file I will write the hook form alter function. So for that write the function hello underscore world form underscore alter so you need to replace this hello world with your module name my module name is the hello world i have added the hello world and the form alter is the hook and it accepts the three parameters ampersand dollar form comma slash drupal slash four slash form slash form state interface dollar form underscore state and last parameter is the form id form underscore id first we need to check the form id of the current form so we are going to use the this login form you will get the form id by inspecting the form element so here you can see the form id is user hyphen login hyphen form you need to replace the hyphen with the underscore to use the form id in a code so we will check if dollar form underscore id is equal to replace the hyphen with the underscore So here we are checking the form id of the user login form and inside this if condition we will write the custom validation handler for that dollar form in the code hash validate and the empty square bracket equal to we need to mention the callback function name which will handle the this custom validations so we will give the name of that function is hello underscore world underscore user underscore login or form underscore validate make sure to give the proper naming convention so you can add the any name but as per the standard i will i have added the my model name and for which form we want to add the custom validations that form name and the validate because this will help validate the form now define this function outside the form alter hook for that just go and add the function and the function name so this will accept the two parameters m percent dollar form and uh, m percent dollar form underscore state Now in this function we will get the form fields value. So first we will get the username equal to dollar form underscore state get value and the 
username fields name so this name we are getting from the form field its name is a username fields name is name so that's why we will get the that field name in a in this username variable now in this field we will add the validation like if the username contains the valid email address or uh, any particular email address suppose i will check if that username contain the email address with the address example.com only those users allowed to login into the website for that we will write the condition we will check in the username if that username contains domain name as a example.com so we will check condition if str contains dollar username comma and the example.com domain name we will allow only email addresses which has example.com so those user only allowed to log in and i am using the str contains function to check in the username if that username contains the example.com and if it does not contain in that case i will show the error message like dollar form underscore state set error by name and the field name is name and in t function i will give one error message this user is not allowed to log in and the semicolon so in this condition we are checking if that username does not contain the in example.com it will show the this error message so now save this and uh, clear the cache now go to the form and we will check by login the users before that i will show you i have these three users one is the admin and second is the dummy at the right example.com first we will check with this admin user if it will allow us to log in or not so first i will add the admin and the password here you can see we are getting the error message this user is not allowed to log in we have added this error message here because the username does not contain the the specified email address so uh, we will now check with the other user dummy at the rate example.com and the password we will log in using this user so here we have successfully logged in into the website using that user so that's it from this video in this video we have added the this custom validation handler to the user login form and in this function we have check the username if that username contains the example.com and only those users will be allowed to login into the website if you feel this video is useful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel for the more drupal related content thank you for watching